In the spring of so many dangerous and deadly tornadoes, a lot of people have begun wondering if there is such a thing as safe shelter. Less than 3% of American homes have actual storm shelters, and Anthony Mason looks at how some home improvements can provide an alternative. When her Tuscaloosa home was about to explode around her this past April, Elaine Davis and her husband took shelter. He said he could feel the wind and the pressure um, on the door and there was just a big gust of dust and dirt. This is what saved them, a Cold War era atomic bomb shelter with concrete walls several feet thick. The neighborhood above them was leveled, just as Joplin was on Sunday. And engineers say it's almost impossible to build a house able to withstand a tornado's fury. Tornadoes can come in speeds up to 200 miles an hour and above. At some point, Mother Nature's physical force will overwhelm even the best engineering. Watch these two houses bombarded with hurricane force winds at a test facility. Only the structurally reinforced home survives. Tornado winds can be twice as powerful and attack both vertically and horizontally like a swirling sledgehammer. But installing impact resistant windows or latching the house together at the foundation and joints with so-called hurricane ties can help keep out the wind and delay a buildup of pressure inside. What you're really doing with the construction of a home or business is buying yourself time. You're giving yourself time to get to an interior safe room or shelter. The starting price of a shelter is about $1,500. FEMA will pay up to 75% of the cost if it meets their standards. But even in Tornado Alley, many existing homes have no protection. Engineer David Pravat headed a National Science Foundation team that studied the Alabama tornado outbreak. 40 people lost their lives in Tuscaloosa. Anything we can do to improve even 10% or 15% reduce that number, uh, that would be a substantial benefit. We have to do better, scientists say, because Mother Nature will surely throw her worst at us again. Anthony Mason, CBS News, New York.